Oh, I can't go to Chick-fil-A this Sunday. All right, are you excited for bath time? This song is gonna forever hit. I don't care. That's the reason why I can't get it. Thank you to Del Cien for sponsoring today's video. If you don't know who they are by now, then girl, are you even watching my videos? Because I talk about them all the time. Basically, their mission is to deliver the highest quality, luxury-inspired fragrances at a fair price, giving you the freedom to explore new scents. They were nice enough to send me over four more of their beautiful perfumes to try out and tell you guys about. So the first one that I'm going to be talking about is the Woody Freesha, I believe is how you pronounce it. This is inspired by, I'll put it on the screen because girl, I cannot pronounce these perfume names. It's inspired by, by one of the Armani's and this one is definitely giving musk. I need to check and see if one of these are one of their unisex because I think a man could also wear this as well. Next one that I'm going to show you guys is the Ambery Saffron. It's inspired by the Baccarat Rouge 540. This is me trying to see what the hype is about. Like it smelled good but the way people be hyping it up it just seems like it would just be like the best smelling scent that I've ever smelled on this face of the earth. <laughs> like it smelled good but it, it's just not like you know it's not like the best perfume that I smell honestly in my opinion. This one is the Citrus Green Apple inspired by the Dosa and Gabbana Light Blue for Women. This one smelled really good. Smelling it right now and yeah I really like this one. It does give off musk. That's the base notes amber, cedarwood, and musk so you can definitely tell that you can smell that. The last one is their Pattery Hawthorne and I really really like this one. This is inspired by Tom Ford. My two favorites out of this one is the Dosa and Gabbana and the Tom Ford inspired ones, the Pattery Hawthorne and the Citrus Green Apple. Absolutely love those two. And then the next one will be the Baccarat Rouge. Don't forget to check down below in the description box for all the links to this. And hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you can see from the title, it is going to be the start of another Living Along Weekly vlog. Super excited to have y'all tune in for this week. If you're new here, hey girl, my name is Kira Janae. Don't forget to subscribe and join the video before you leave. So obviously it is Sunday. We're going to be doing a Sunday reset today. It is 11:46 um, in the morning, Sunday, February 25th. It's 66 degrees outside, so it's feeling good. I am loving the sun, and just it just feels refreshing. So um, I do work Monday and Tuesday of this week, and then I'll be off for eight days. Work two, and then I'll be off for 15. So the month of March is my get this ish done type of month. So I do want to go ahead and start off by resetting my entire, not really life, but like life, honestly. Um, I need to clean i need to do not really i already kind of deep cleaned last week y'all know my um they came and did inspections and stuff like that so my house is clean like deep cleaned i just need to just straighten up and clean up a little bit so we're gonna be doing that i do need to do laundry though today i need to do so much laundry it doesn't even make any sense so i need to do that um i have a full to-do list so i'll just go ahead and read it off to you as you can see i did take down my sew-in so i have my natural hair out right now um don't know how long she's gonna be out because i do need to promote some more stuff and try out some more stuff but for the time being i decided to go ahead and like basically silk press my hair then when my silk press kind of started to look a little oily and stuff i'm going to go ahead and curl my hair and then after i curl it i'll probably wear that in an updo that's kind of how i just make my hair last a little bit longer like once it's not bone straight no more i'll curl it and then put it up stuff like that um so yeah i put on a little mascara filled in my eyebrows just a little bit with a brow pencil and yeah we're rocking out with the natural look today um, we have a full list to do, so I really should have woke up early today, but it's okay. Um, first thing on the list to do is clean the apartment. I'm going to be cleaning throughout the day, which I really didn't want to do that, but I am going to have to do that. So I'm going to start by washing my bed sheets and stuff like that. We're going to do a little bit of cleaning. Um, I got laundry on here, and then I need to pick up my packages from the Amazon hub in my office. I need to pick up y'all and a net nephew <laughs> from his grandparents' house. Um, my parents stay about 20 minutes away from me, so I told my mom I was going to go over there to their house on her lunch break. Um, she usually takes lunch around 12, 1-ish. So hopefully, it's 11.48. Hopefully, she take it at like 
12 or 1 so i'm just maybe i'll just go ahead and go ahead and go get him i don't know i'm gonna text her and see but we gotta go pick up prints um i need to pick up my grocery order i did want to go shop in the store but i put in this grocery order at like 12 30 1 o'clock this morning and i'm like i'm not gonna be up in the morning you know like so we got a grocery pickup with sam's and walmart at 2 p.m two to three um and I know I was going to be in the stores for a minute if I would have to go pick up all of this food. And I really need today to just hurry up and get it done so I can relax, watch all my favorite YouTube girlies on here, and get ready for work and stuff tomorrow and Tuesday. Um, I need to do a thumbnail and timestamps for a video that I want to post today. Post a video at 3 p.m. This is a sponsored portion of the video and it hasn't been approved yet, but I feel like they're going to approve it. So I'm going to give them until like 3. I'm going to give them until like five o'clock maybe today and see if they approve it um i'll probably email them again at three because i really want to post it today for you guys because it's ready um i need to check my mail and i need to meal prep um i made my own list of my food that i want i just make it in notes it's really simple this week i do need to work on getting three thousand calories a day eating my protein oh we'll talk about all that later but I need some meal prep so i made my meals through sunday through saturday what i want to eat is literally the same for the most part um sunday and monday i kind of group my days in twos because i'm not really a leftover person so it's like i'll cook one day and then eat the leftovers for like the next day maybe the next day like third day but really that's it so that's how i did my thing so example sunday and monday my lunch is going to be i'm cooking well sunday i wanted to cook sloppy joe today but I may go ahead and just go to... No, I can't go to Chick-fil-A Sunday! <sighs> Bae's supposed to be coming over here as well, so he may stop and get us some lunch, like Wendy's or something, Popeye's, I don't know. But obviously my lunch is going to have to be some fast food today. But it was supposed to be Sloppy Joe's, roasted potatoes, and then I'm going to cook my little, like what I call famous meal. Y'all see that. Monday, I was going to have leftover Sloppy Joe and then leftover dinner from today and then tuesday i was going to have um a burger and fries for lunch and then i wanted to have that grilled chicken breast the italian chicken breast that i get from sam's club they're sold out let me find out all y'all locally buying this meat that i can't get it. that's the reason why i can't get it but it is sold out in the one that's closest to me and the other one that's close to me and the one that's in conway if y'all are local it's sold out the only place they had it is hot springs not gonna lie i was about to draw to hot springs if you're not local that's about an hour away from me but i'm like is it really worth you know like it's worth it but like i don't really feel like driving bay was gonna drive down there with me like him drive whatever i really need that chicken though so i've been checking daily for this chicken because that's 26 25 meals for only like $60 when I make that little meal prep. So yeah, that's what that's all. I've been talking for five minutes. Um, we're about to go ahead and get to doing my to-do list and cleaning and stuff like that. And I'll just pop back in whenever. Back up on my bullshit, back up on the scene. Done dealing with you, don't know how to deal with me. Done fucking with you, don't know how to love me. Done dealing with you, don't want Too. Too gorgeous, too 
pickup because it's already three o'clock and I just don't have time to be in the store trying to get stuff because it would have took too long and I got a lot of stuff to do today so I'm trying to basically shop by week now and not necessarily by month so this shopping haul is a lot smaller than my regular restocks because I'm only going to be I'm going to basically start restocking on a weekly basis and trying to plan out my meals meals more so I know what I'm eating and I'm not wasting anything and it cuts down the cost of just overly buying food for the month so a little quick haul um, from Sam's Club you guys can see I got my 20 something packs of water right here I got my cranberry juice that I love a two pack of honey wheat bread I got some hamburger loves from Walmart the macaroni is from Sam's as well. And then I got cereal. I like this 12 pack of burgers. Y'all know that I'm still on my gaining weight journey. I am slightly about to do a bulk, but I don't want it to be, I want to do more so of a clean bulk, if that makes sense. Well, I know that makes sense. I want to do a clean bulk, but just not overly like clean. So one burger patty is 18 grams of protein and it's 340 calories. So that's already a lot of calories on top of getting a hamburger bun, you know. So I like to eat these burgers. I do get the 75% lean and 25% fat. They have three different kinds, depending on how much fat and how much lean you want. Um, smoked sausages, y'all know I cook this with any and everything. I got some more plug-ins because I was out. I got a big thing of bacon, potatoes, some Lunchables, waffle fries. I got two things of milk. I got 2% and I got vanilla almond milk. Um, someone has said to start drinking vanilla almond milk. I assume that you are new because that used to be the only milk that I would drink. Um, but then it started going really bad on me like really, really quickly. So I stopped buying it. Um, but yeah, I got that because I want to start making my smoothies and stuff again. I got regular 2% milk because I don't like to put almond milk in my mac and cheese because now that I stopped drinking it, I can definitely taste the almond milk in the mac and cheese and I don't like that. So I bought a little bit of thing of this. Almond milk, I like to eat. Yeah, almond milk, I like to drink with my cereal. I'm going to, like I said, start making my protein shakes again and smoothies. Y'all know I talked about these in another vlog. I'm actually about to try these out this week and I'll tell you how I like them. This is gonna be the first one I try and then I'm gonna do this one, but I wanted vanilla almond milk because I feel like it'll just taste a lot better with almond milk. Um, so yeah, that's really all I got. I got some, like I said, walk across some Lunchables, more steak sauce, got my can of sandwich, and oh, I wanna talk about this. So obviously y'all know I'm trying to get my protein in and gain me another 10 to 15 pounds. These were recommended by the girl on TikTok. I'll post her up here. I've been obsessed with her and I've been literally stalking her Instagram and her TikTok and everything because I like to see people who was 90 pounds, 100 pounds like I was. And I like to see them actually get to the goals that I wanna get to. So I am now 140 pounds. I'm not obviously 97 pounds no more, but she started like that. She stayed consistent for like three to four months and then she basically got to like how I look now. And then for a whole year, her transformation, you guys can see, I'll probably pop her up right here. And that's how I'm trying to get. If not like that, something like that. So basically I have the weight, it's just I needed to go to the right places and I do wanna gain an additional like 10 to 15 pounds but in the right places. So anyway, she was talking about these on her TikTok. I don't know if it was sponsored or whatever, but she did say she really, really do like the cookies and cream flavor. Um, obviously read the comments, everybody read the TikTok comments. And everybody was saying that they actually really like the cookies and cream flavor. So this is the Bear Bells Protein Cookies and Cream. They got like five to different, different, five to six different flavors. And it's 20 grams of protein per one little B bar. And it also has 200 calories. So I'm really trying to get my protein in, especially because I'm about to start taking my creatine and stuff again. So I'm excited to try these. I've been trying to find 
healthier snacks like not just too healthy but something better than a fruit snack like y'all if y'all have been paying attention to me y'all have not been seeing me buy my big old boxes of fruit snacks it took everything in me not to buy no fruit snacks <laughs> so for me to stop snacking on all of that sugar i decided to get one of these um but so yeah i'm excited i mean it's only y'all know they put all this air in there it's only this big and 200 calories for one little bitty bar as well as 20 grams of protein like i pray that i actually really like this so i'm not going to try it right now because i just ate and stuff but i'll try it probably later on to try one i really hope i like it they got some more flavors but some of the other flavors i don't even think i would like um besides one other one and i forgot what it was called so yeah i'm about to put these groceries up i need to go to my amazon hub to get my package and then i'm gonna go ahead and go pick up prints i wanted to go to costco and get some pork chops they have a pack of like 10 or 11 big thick rounded pork chops for only like 10 or 11 dollars um since i wasn't able to get my freaking italian and herb whatever chicken breast from sounds because everybody bought it out so i may go to costco today i may save that for tomorrow because i am tired and it's already three o'clock i gotta go pick up prints bring him back and finish cleaning up my house and i gotta do a thumbnail and time stamps so i'll probably do that I really need to do the thumbnail and stuff now, but I kind of wanted to go ahead and get prints and have that out the way so I could just stay at home. So I'll probably work on my thumbnail and timestamps when I get back. It is three o'clock. I'm supposed to post this video, but this company hasn't emailed me back. So I'm gonna just go get prints and I really want to upload it because I feel like they're gonna approve it. But I don't know, we'll see. So if you don't know, I have a laundry chute in my apartment. This connects to my master bathroom closet. And I have a lot of clothes that need to be washed. It's like literally pouring out of here. So before I leave and go get prints, I am gonna go ahead and start a load in here. So by the time I get back, it'll be done. And then we can finish my little restocks and stuff. Definitely bagged up on laundry. If y'all remember my last vlog, I was showing my Amazon haul. This is a car organizer. It is linked in my Amazon storefront. Um, when I was picking up prints at my parents' house, I decided to go ahead and just put my stuff in here so I can get rid of the other little white basket. And I really like it. It's a 10 out of 10. I didn't even use up more than half of this little box thingy or container. So definitely go check it out. It's linked in my Amazon storefront. I love it. in the evening I got y'all nephew here with me as well I'm about to go ahead and open up this package that I just picked up from Amazon I have not been on Instagram like I've been so freaking busy and as well as I normally only like get on there to post my stuff get off and then whoever watched my story I would like click on their story and like watch but other than that I don't just be on Instagram like watching stories or anything so yeah anyways let's get into my package that i've been waiting on i went and checked the mail and i walked i walked him to the mailbox and back so he got his little exercise he took a poop on the way there as well um i'm gonna feed him after i get done unboxing this and then i'll take him back out and walk around again it's just it just feels so good outside like i was watching mckenna walker and literally the exact thing that she said in the beginning of the vlog is what i just said to my boyfriend and my best friend like yesterday which is crazy that i watched that and she says the exact same thing i used to really really love winter time and winter used to honestly be my favorite like season fall and winter time now that i am grown and i am a essential worker and i gotta drive through rain sleet hail snow what have you i do not like the winter time it just be so cold for no reason like yeah I don't like the heat either and honestly I used to always say well like in the winter time like you can just you know bundle up put on gloves and what have you but like no it ain't nothing like that good old vitamin D outside with that sun shining like 
it just it just feels so good outside like i am in such a good mood just because it looks pretty outside and i just i don't know like i feel like i'm really getting into being like a spring slash summer girly i still love fall as well but like that in between with spring and summer i'm really liking that so yeah i just want to say that because girl it just feel real good like i didn't walk around the whole complex like i am just in such a good mood it's because the sun out i just absolutely love it so i think i am becoming a like summertime girly which i hate to say because i swore up and down growing up that i would never like the summertime and girl here we are so and speaking of that as well i um don't kill me y'all but the reason why i haven't put my canvas up in my bedroom like i haven't painted anything i feel like i look a little crazy i'm like y'all like so far away so i haven't painted anything on the canvas because i am about to clean not clean i'm about to redo my room i think i want to redo my room simply because i can't rearrange my room or my living room so me adding in different decor and stuff kind of makes it feel like i'm rearranging if you know me y'all know i like to change stuff every like probably like four to six months and i just rearrange things so yeah i actually just ordered a, a duvet cover i'm going to pop some things on the screen right here of the aesthetic that i'm going for and the look that i'm going for just piggybacking off of me saying that it's you know it's light outside it just feel good like i really want a fresh open and airy space and with the all black don't get me wrong like i'm still all black girly but with my comforter being black i think i want my comforter back white i do have a comforter in my guest room but i don't want to use that anymore i bought a duvet cover it's gonna be here monday so tomorrow and we'll you know figure things out then but these are the aesthetics that i'm going for i'm basically kind of about to copy this photo right here um between these two and yeah i just want like those tiktoks that be going around that says i want it to look like no one lives here that's kind of the vibe i'm going for like still comfortable but i still want it to look like nobody live here and like although i really do love my bedding in my room i think i'm going to bring out that green and black when it's fall and winter time like that's definitely those are definitely my vibes in the fall and winter time now that it's you know light outside bright airy i really want to bring bring brightness to the room because i already got black wallpaper so it, it just be a little too dark for me sometimes but getting into this amazon package girl running my mouth random things that i got in my amazon cart it's a random haul i'm not kidding y'all these have been in my amazon cart for probably five months they're like three or four dollars don't know why i have not bought them yet but i've been getting back into my skincare and literally i hate when the water runs down my arms i've tried to use scrunchies of my own it's just not the same so i got a two pack of these it comes in this cute little design and then i got another one that looks like this literally this morning i was like i need to go pick these up out of my amazon box because washing my face water running all the way down here dripping on my pants and everything so just got a two pack of these little wrist things for your um face super excited about that to use that tonight and then another random thing that i got that was in my amazon cart is this over cabinet door organizer mesh in brown so i got this simply because i'm going to use it exactly how they use it um y'all know my new place here i don't have as much cabinet space as i did in my last apartment and that's a challenge for me <laughs> not gonna lie um it's really hard for me to figure out where i want things and to place things so to kind of free up some space i got this because my cutting boards and all of that and just these type of dishes they're just randomly thrown into the cabinet and i'm honestly over it so i'm going to try to utilize the cabinet doors to be putting stuff in there so we're going to put this together as well as restock my kitchen in a little bit and then these are the pillowcases that are in question right now um didn't even realize i put two in my cart and these are definitely probably not the size that i need like i said i forgot these were even in my amazon cart and when i ordered this stuff it literally was like five items or something i'm like five items what do you mean five items or four items so these are how they look though it comes in a two pack so i'm like why did i order two anyways these are how they look super cute tan um y'all know i am trying to bring this color into my apartment a little bit more especially with the seasons changing so if y'all watch my if y'all watch my last vlog then you guys know i painted this by myself and then over there i do have that little like 
brownish tannish rope over there my placemats kind of got this color in there as well as my carpet kind of brings that out so i was thinking look really really nice over here like everywhere but i think i like that i think that's kind of like spot on i think they're 16 by 16 i wish i would have had like an 18 in there because the 18 might work okay so actually my smaller pillows actually fit perfectly in here <laughs> which is amazing oh my gosh that is so crazy how like you have a different pillow that easy buying pillowcases is definitely a lot easier than trying to find the freaking perfect pillow in the store because y'all y'all know i was stressed out okay i probably have to show y'all a little bit better at night but for right now i think i'm kind of liking the brown in the well brown tan whatever <laughs> i'm just gonna say brown i'm liking the browns that are in here like the picture definitely is bringing these colors in together and then you know the mats and that and then also my placemats have this on there and then i do already have this in the kitchen area so i'm thinking and you know this you know so i'm kind of really feeling i'm feeling those pillows so i probably will have to where is it i didn't mean to order two i'll probably return these i may return these because i don't think i'm gonna have two of the same pillow you know like these pillows are a little bit smaller than those other ones so i don't want to you know you know what i'm saying so i don't think it'll be cute to have brown and brown especially the same kind of pillow so y'all comment down below um tell me if i should return this i think i'm gonna return it because i don't think that'll look right you know to have two of the same pillows right there so i am really liking this a lot better i don't really know the pillow placement that i want to do yet especially with the knot pillow but i am liking the black white and brown because that helps bring out my painting you know i'm liking it y'all i like it i was gonna keep these because like i said my comforter on my thing in here is about to be white so then i can I don't know i may keep these but i'm not going to change out those other white pillowcases for brown um i'm just going to keep it as is for right now because it don't look too bad but i just don't know how i want my pillows placed and then i kind of feel like i don't know if i need two more pillows like another little brown one and another white one to go in the middle or should i just keep it like that comment down below y'all know this has been stressing me out this is the best that i've seen it so far because i really like this brown that's coming up in here Hey y'all, Future Akira here. I actually decided that I am going to take back those two brown pillowcases because obviously I don't need them. I'm just going to keep white, brown, white. And as you can see, the knot pillow is still so much brighter than that fluffy white pillow. So I'm probably just going to wash that fluffy white pillow with some bleach and see if it gets any lighter. If it doesn't get any lighter, then I'll go back to the at home store or home goods and just try to find something. If not, then I'll just get ready to get rid of it completely and get a whole new different white pillow. But right now I'm loving it. It looks really nice. It's tying in really, really well together. So yeah, comment down below to what you think. See? 
They're not bad. Um, it's just I'm not a chocolate person. If you like chocolate, then I feel like you'll like these. Um, the only chocolate I could eat is a Reese's because the Reese's have peanut butter in the inside. And this is basically just chocolate. And then it's like the cookies and cream on the inside, which is not bad. Like I said, it's just I don't like chocolate. So I feel like I would have to if this had peanut butter in it then this will be a 10 out of 10. Um, I feel like I would maybe have to buy some peanut butter and kind of like dip it in peanut butter to be able to eat it. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's not bad. Um, I put it in the freezer to see if I like it better that way rather than it being hot. So, oh, I can't even bite into it now, girl. I feel like that. Okay, yeah, I can't really bite into it, so. But I'm gonna buy some peanut butter and try to eat it that way. But it's not bad. Since I don't like chocolate, I'm gonna rate it about uh six seven out of ten but if i would have liked chocolate then it would be a like 9.5 out of 10 not bad so it's been cooking for an hour i'm gonna let it cook for another got 29 minutes left on the timer but i'm gonna let it cook for another about 30, 45 minutes, and then I'm about to turn the temp down. So I'm about to rearrange some stuff in my cabinets because it's just not functioning again anymore. <laughs> um, kind of want all of my supplements and stuff right here on this shelf and then other stuff that I don't really reach for on those two because I can't really reach those. This one became chaos and this one I do use this stuff but the stuff at the very top is stuff that I don't use. I definitely do not use that stack but I need that Tupperware just in case if I need something really 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 big so i'm gonna put those meal prep containers and stuff up here in that top one since i don't ever really grab those i use my glass ones and then i do have some new meal prep containers so i'm gonna be using that um so basically i'm about to just switch all of this stuff around and make it more functional for me
Tesla, cost hoes, etc. Hit them with pressure. My niggas won't let up. Tell them niggas to catch up. Wake up, got a million of diamonds that sit on the dresser. Uh, run up the check now, flex my Good morning or good afternoon. It's 1:20 Monday, February 26th, and I just got done eating breakfast and stuff. As you guys saw, um, I woke up at about like 10 or 11. Did my little morning routine, cooked breakfast, my vitamins, took my supplements and stuff like that. Trying to do right. Um, and today I do gotta go to work today and tomorrow. So I just got done watching Raven Lee's new video, her garage transformation. So I think I'm about to catch up on. Um, I am Chelsea Janae and um, McKenna Walker. Hers are just so long, but I really don't have anything. I don't want to do too much today. The only thing I want to do is my laundry. I have at least three big laundry hampers full of laundry to fold and hang up. So um, I do need to finish one of McKenna Walker's vlogs. So I'm either going to, I think I want to go ahead and finish that first and then just fold clothes on my bed while looking at that. And then I'll probably watch one of Chelsea Janae's vlogs and then try to, because hers now are like about an hour. Um, so I'm going to finish McKenna's vlog and then watch one of Chelsea's vlogs. And then I'll be able to, you know, hopefully knock out a lot of my laundry. So what I have to fold is... I did do my bed and stuff, but I went to sleep last night. Anyways, I have this big old thing of clothes to fold. It's a little bit of clothes at the bottom, and then the rest of these are towels. And then I also have, I need to mop today as well, but I may say that for tomorrow. My closet is a mess. I didn't clean my closet. I have all of these clothes to fold and hang up as well. Oh, forgot the clothes that dry out my wipes. Oh, and just y'all wait. <sighs> And the last of my laundry, the last of my laundry that I have to fold and take care of is this. It's literally filled to the rim and pushed all the way out. So this is going to be the very last thing that I tackle. I'm going to do these first two tubs first, and then we'll go from there. I did clean my kitchen and everything, but the stuff that I cooked with today and last night, I just got in here kind of soaking, and then I'm going to finish cleaning those up as well. And then, yeah, I'll probably mop before I go to work today just so I can come back to, like, a really, really smelling good house. But the only thing I'm about to do today is really catch up on some YouTube videos, um, do my whole laundry, or at least try to get through all of my laundry. I may, I don't know, I may take a nap. I woke up at, like, 10 or 11. I went to sleep at, like, 10 or 11 as well. Um, if I do get in with my laundry, then we'll finally put this up. It is completely done charging, and it's, like bluetooth basically and it comes off and then goes back on so it's really nice really cool and it got three settings so we'll probably put this up later if i feel up to it if not then we'll do it the other days and prince is walking around hiding his freaking bone all around the apartment he's probably gonna put it in one of those pillows oh and i just wanted to say i sent this to my boyfriend and my cousin and they really like the pop brown like they said it, like I said, it brings out the canvas and all the other stuff. So I really, really like it. Look, I'm trying to hide the bone. That's his favorite spot to put it. 
Y'all see it. I I see it. I know exactly where it's at. <laughs> I would say I finished it. I must have went to sleep on it. And I did not even watch that vacation. So, um, I tried to start her vlogs all the way from the beginning. But, I mean, they are so long. So, I'm going to have to redo that. Because I had just found, like, McKenna Walker, like, last year. So, she has a lot of vlogs. So, I'm going to... I've been trying to start from the beginning to really understand her life. Because, you know, like, I don't know anything about her. So... I'm gonna start this again. I think I was in the middle of this, so yeah. I think I fell asleep and then it played the next three videos because I didn't watch any of those shorts when she got engaged, none of that. Oh, hold up. How do I skip? I guess I'm just gonna have to fast forward because I saw all of that. I saw morning today is february 29th the last day of february tomorrow is march 1st whoop, whoop. um it's 903 in the morning you guys i don't know if i showed y'all me doing my morning routine or not but i decided to put a low ponytail in my hair rather than a high pony because it's not getting in my hair it's a little bit shorter like i got different lengths in my hair so yeah that's what we're working with i'm about to go to the gym i got on my little shirt that i was talking about in the last vlog um and then i got on the leggings this may be the exact same fit but i promise it's clean <laughs> um it's just what i just got out the washer so anyways i'm not about to do in my last video you guys saw me do like a pre-workout breakfast and then like a post-workout breakfast um i'm not gonna do like the bacon toast and all of that i'm just gonna do some cereal um some captain not captain crunch cinnamon toast crunch and i'm gonna do uh I'm going to do about a cup. I've been calculating all of my stuff here recently just to make sure that I'm getting my amount, the right amount of protein that I need. Um, I normally don't count my calories and stuff like that. I'm only counting them and logging them because for protein, not necessarily the calories, because I know I can, you know, I know what 3000 calories kind of look like. So I am slightly bulking, if you will. So I'm about to give me some. Oh, my car turned off. About to pour me up some cereal clock. I should get to the gym by like 9.25, 9.30. And then I usually spend about an hour in the gym. Sometimes I get done a little bit faster. Um, that just means I need to up my reps because the stuff that I've been doing, I've been getting through in like 45 minutes. So this is my first time back in the gym in about two weeks. It's like I'll be consistent and then I'll stop and I'll be consistent and then I'll stop. Blah, blah, blah. So, or disciplined and then I'll stop um but yeah i'm gonna do glutes today i am going to see my boyfriend today i think i told y'all that um we're gonna clean out my car today but i'm not even sure it's 40 degrees right now simply because i think it's in the morning but they did say we're gonna have a few cold fronts so yeah the high today is only 49 degrees and they say it's gonna rain at 11 p.m but it's supposed to be cloudy all day so i'm pretty sure it's gonna be like scattered showers throughout the day and then we're going to get into the 60s and then the 70s. So that's unfortunate. But I'm only going to stay down there for today. And then tomorrow my friend Janae is moving in actually downstairs. <laughs> so I'm going to come back and help her move in and stuff. I'm going to drop Prince off at his grandparents' house today. I'll come back and get him, uh, pick him up tomorrow and then bring him back over here. Um, but yeah, that's really all today. Um, if it rains and I'm not going to clean up my car, I'll just leave that for the next day. 
but I do have some exciting stuff coming from Amazon. I just cannot get away from Amazon. Like we go together real bad. So I like my cereal to get a little soggy. I'm not the type of person who literally pours the cereal right into the milk and start eating. Crunchy cereal is disgusting. I don't see how people eat that because I just cannot. I don't want mine just soggy and wet, but I do need them to soak up a little bit of moisture. So that's what I'm waiting on right now. <laughs> All right, so I'm back home. I took a shower and everything. I'm about to do my post-workout smoothie. I have not ate a full breakfast yet, y'all know. I showed y'all that I had me some Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So I'm gonna try out this smoothie and see how I like it. Um, y'all know I've been talking about the Ghost brand. I got the Chippehoys and the Oreo flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and try the Chippehoy first. That's why I bought the almond milk. So I'm just gonna mix it with almond milk. I got some oats, but I don't know if I wanna put that in there yet. I just wanna see how it tastes. And then I'm gonna mix some ice in there as well, just a little bit so it can be, you know, a little cool. But it only takes one pack. One pack is 160 calories and 25 grams of protein. You can put this in pancakes, ice cream, anything it says on the back. So you can pause and read the facts. And I'm gonna use, since this is a smaller smoothie, I'm gonna use my Nutribullet right here instead of my like big, Oh, you can't see it. Instead of my big uh, blender. Mm, it smells good. It smells just like cookies. Okay. It still work. <laughs> Cause uh, I use this in the mini on. Prepare your ears. Oh, child. My blender comes with a little like hander, handle, Ooh, can I talk, a handle, <laughs> so that you can drink it straight out of the little blender cup if you want. So I'm just gonna put my handle on here and use it as like a little cup. Taste test. Why am I scared? A, I don't really know what a milkshake tastes like. I've only ever tried one. It just tastes like Chippewa cookies and milk. So cookies and milk. I don't eat cookies and milk either, but this is what I would assume cookies and milk taste like. <laughs> it's good. I just need it to be like a little bit colder, but it's good. Okay. So I know I like this flavor. I know they sell this at Target. So when I go to Target again, I'll probably go to Target, maybe not tomorrow, Friday. I'll probably go to Target Saturday and then pick up, just I'll probably go shopping Saturday and take out with me and get this protein because I actually really do like it. it. Tastes good. I think this is something I can uh, drink. Definitely give me milk and cookie vibes or like, it tastes like melted ice cream. Um, so I see why they say you can use it in ice cream because it definitely just tastes like melted ice cream or something. I just need it to be a lot colder, but yeah, I could definitely mix this with just like six ounces of milk and drink it. Tastes good. So I recommend if you like cookies and stuff, tastes good. Update. If you hear something, it's my, whoa, dishwasher. <laughs> it's 2.58 in the evening. Um, I put back on my stuff, sweatpants, long sleeve shirt because girl, it is 45 degrees outside right now. It is freezing. It's also raining. Um, scatter showers throughout the city. My mom come texting me and then she called me immediately because I didn't text her back within 30 seconds and was like, girl, it's sleeting. And I was like, wait, 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 what? So apparently it's been sleeting across central Arkansas and stuff and then up north. It's all, it may snow up there or what have you. So I'm about to go ahead and head out now because I don't want to be driving when it's dark. It's not raining anymore. It rained over here where I'm at for like 20, 25 minutes, but I'm about to go ahead and head out. I'm taking me a cranberry grape to my boyfriend's house. Um, he got me a full six pack of Fiji water. So for my dinner, I want to drink some juice with dinner. Um, my mom is trying to blow dry and try to flat iron her hair or straighten her hair or not even that, just wash it and blow dry it to put it in a ponytail. Let me tell you this. Growing up, 
Excuse me, growing up, as you guys can see, I got a little bit of hang time. <laughs> so my mom never did my hair. Like it was always my um older sister, um, Alina, who passed away, but she's still here with me. Um, she literally used to do my hair all the time. And my mom, if if my sister Alina like parted my hair and stuff like that then my mama was able to like retwist it she can't braid but if she twisted my hair in plaits she could retwist it to make it look fresh but that's it she can't part no hair she can't flat on no hair she can't blow dry no hair no nothing she did my hair one time and i was just ballistic like i was going crazy and i'm like i want my sister to only do my hair so my sister used to do my hair growing up fun fact um so that's kind of where i learned how to do my hair i used to my sister, I used to play in her makeup, like heels, like everything. I miss her so much, but that was definitely my girl. She always called me. She always said I was her baby because, I mean, my sister would be in her 40s right now. So, literally, and I'm 25, so, like, I literally could have been her child. <laughs> but I'm taking my mom this blow dryer that my cousin had given me a couple Christmases ago. I think this will be better for her since it's like an actual brush she'll be able to just you know blow dry and brush her hair out i'm taking her flat iron because her little flat iron that she got at the house i don't know where she got it from it is oh it no so i used to use this brand gvp love this brand um but obviously there's better things out now but i used to use this brand and me and my best friend nikki all throughout high school like gvp was definitely that girl back in like what 2014 2015 is when i was using this so this is the brand i got it from sally beauty supply and yeah i mean she still works it's just obviously i got better tools and stuff now so i don't really need it and i do have a t3 blow dryer shout out to donna for that um so i don't really need this one anymore i still like it because of the brush but you know the t3 is obviously better so i'm taking that to her I packed up Prince bag. The Farmer's Dog, y'all did see they gave me this when I initially unboxed it. Farmer's Dog, if you want to sponsor me, <laughs> hello. But, um, yeah, so I packed him some more toys because I don't know what it is, but over there, the few toys that he had over there, he's been, like, taking out the stuff and his stuff and, like, really destroying them. So I just washed all of these not too long ago. Um, you can see he kind of took off the fluffiness over here. So this one may be on his last leg as well here soon, but... I'm gonna take this one over there and say I licked it so it's mine. Um, this little snowman I'm gonna go ahead and take over there because it's really big and bulky and I want it out of my place. And then this is actually from the baby section, but it, you know, have my smell, house scent, stuff like that on it. And he likes to throw this around. Prince throws his own toys and then go play fetch. So fun fact, but I'm gonna give him this one as well. And then I got his food in here from the farmer's dog. Hence the reason why I'm using this one to keep it cold. And I just got an ice pack in here. I'm gonna take these gloves to my boyfriend's house because he needs some more gloves and I have a lot as well as he should be moving soon. So when I like to go over there and clean, I be wanting to use gloves because I can't just clean without no gloves. So yeah, that's what I got. Um, my little bag packed. I'm only gonna be there for the night. It's literally three o'clock. I'm gonna get there like four, 4.30 and then I'm gonna leave back out at like nine, 10 o'clock in the morning. So depending on what time Janae wants to uh move and stuff look at me i mopped my floor i cleaned my kitchen up i basically finished my little sunday reset um looks good in here smell good in here everything's looking real nice i'm still loving my pillows and this is my duvet cover i gotta retire these this is so this right here is my duvet cover i'm gonna um probably set this up this sunday and i may go to like home goods and stuff and try to look in store for some stuff but yeah hopefully it boy get back hopefully it fits and look really nice if not then i'm just gonna have to find an all-white comforter which i usually find my comforters in like burlington or home goods but i'm excited to switch my room around for the spring and the summertime to just get a new feel for the room it's friday Feb no it's friday march 1st happy march um, it's 5.05 in the evening. I just got, I've been home and I went and picked up prints and stuff like that from his grandparents' house. Um, I've been downstairs actually with my friend Janae move in. I think I mentioned that in the, in this vlog. Um, she lives downstairs, um, under me. So we're going to be, you know, back and forth, back and forth all the time to help her move in, get some stuff situated or whatever. Um, and then also, you know, when friends live by each other, 
or what have you or if you go over somebody's house kind of like when you go to your mama's house and then you go shopping at their house so yeah i went shopping at her house because baby she always got all the cleaning stuff and supplies so yeah she got like everything stocked up so i got some spray i got some light saw um and then i got some room spray i got the japanese cherry blossom this is an oldie but a goodie um sometimes the smell drives me insane but it does mask out the smell so i keep this probably in one of my bathrooms right now i'm about to i do need to take some trash out but i'm about to go ahead and feed prince right now um it is five o'clock i'll probably try to start editing this vlog tonight so i don't have much to edit tomorrow um and then we do need to put up my light above my picture frame i'll probably go return that stuff to coast tomorrow and i may clean out my car tomorrow because the sun is out today it's still a little cold outside though so tomorrow the weather like me and Bay didn't do it last night either because it was just too cold so yeah tomorrow saturday says it's going to be up to 72 degrees so we're going to go clean out my car tomorrow which i really could do it at home because from Shein, i got two like indoor type of vacuum cleaners so i can charge these all the way up and then just go clean it out myself so one of these was this is actually supposed to stay in my car <laughs> so i can use this for the car but um i may go ahead and just kind of do that here or i'll actually go to the place but we, we gotta clean out my car tomorrow so i am gonna charge all of these up um i am gonna start cooking today as well i'm not gonna record because i already recorded it i'm gonna do my little smothered little chicken meal or whatever so I've been stalling long enough. I'm about to put the light above my canvas over there. If y'all remember, I used this tape on the back of the canvas to kind of make sure I put the holes in the correct spot. So right here, I'm gonna use the same tape because I know it's the exact same length of the canvas. Put this on the wall and then stick holes, well, draw a hole or a dot in the middle of the tape so that I know where the middle is so I can put my Now the remote is working. I gotta point it at the thing. That's why. That's <laughs> oh, pretty bright. Yes. Okay. So warm. Then we can dim it down. We'll turn it up. Period. Good morning <laughs> it's saturday 8 20 in the morning i've kind of been up since like 6 45 ish it's saturday march 2nd um i am dressed and ready for the gym leggings are from shein shirt is from amazon linked in my storefront um since it's blue i decided just to do the blue or whatever um hair mess i just wore a bonnet i didn't wrap my hair i didn't do anything but throw a bonnet on my head and lay down and go to bed we're gonna put my hair in a ponytail I already fed prince um, i'm gonna take him out i just poured me a bowl of cereal as well but y'all know i like to get my cereal um not soggy but i don't eat crunchy hard cereal so i am letting it sit a little bit i eat i just started eating cereal before the gym um it works for me simply because when i wake up i'm not the type of person who can just eat immediately like if i eat as soon as i wake up i will throw up especially going to the gym i will throw up so <laughs> and it will just make me sick um so since i've been up since like 6 45 i still really can't even just eat a full breakfast so that's why i'm going to just eat one cup of cereal and go ahead and go to the gym and then when i come back from the gym i will actually have my like real breakfast
breakfast if that makes sense so my bank actually closed at one o'clock today so it's only 8 23 i'll probably get to the gym at like nine or a little bit before nine i like to stay for about an hour today is going to be an upper body day since i did legs the day before yesterday um so upper body normally don't take me that long simply because you know like I, i've been training glutes for years so i can like obviously lift a lot heavier for lower body days upper body days are usually a little bit lighter because you know i just can't get in there and just start lifting the whole gym and everything so it should take me about 45 minutes to an hour and then after that i'm gonna come back home shower eat my little breakfast and stuff like that and then we're gonna get dressed and go get me a money order for my bank i need to return that to kohl's um i'll probably go ahead and go to target as well to get my protein i was just gonna buy it from gnc um which i may end up doing that as well because i do have a coupon code for like 15 percent off and it is honestly target is more convenient but the serving size is only like 15 out of that little tub and it's like 30 something dollars plus tax so you might as well just buy the big one because the big one is like 40 40 dollars 44 dollars and then i do have a discount code so i think i'm just going to go ahead and go to gnc for that so yeah i'm just gonna little low ponytail um i need to put on my sweet sweat bed as well i need to actually remember to wash this today i've had this for years so yeah i need to wash it usually i like i never put it in the washing machine before i just like use soap and water and like wash it but i think you are able to actually put it into the washing machine so i need to actually do that um i like to use this sweet sweat workout enhancer in vanilla um i'm just gonna wait to do that when i come back or i mean i guess we can go ahead and do it now uh, so i just want my leggings down to about right here i'm trying to get rid of y'all can see got my little roll back there so we're trying to get rid of that okay so we about to go in on everybody today though no lie usually in the morning times i'm more of i think i said this before of a early gym girly now like mornings and stuff because it's just better to me honestly just to go ahead and get it out the way like how y'all be hearing me talk about it work like the faster i get there the faster you know i can leave that's kind of how i feel about the gym like i definitely when i'm consistent i definitely love going to the gym and like being in the gym it's just sometimes it be crowded and i just like it just be like i'll be too overstimulated at that point it'd be too much going on so in the morning is usually the um older folks there and they just take up the treadmills and the bikes and stuff like that so the everything else is available <laughs> um i used to be a late gym girly though like 9 10 o'clock at night 6 p.m all of that jazz um but now that i'm you know getting older and stuff and actually have uh, business and all kind of other stuff it's better just to go ahead and get it out the way in the morning time because me if i be like okay yeah like i'll do it at four or five o'clock girl four or five five o'clock come around and i got other stuff going on then i try to get other stuff done and then just neglect going to the gym so that's why i became a morning gym girly yeah i need to hurry up because i would like to be at the gym like right at nine o'clock or a little bit before nine i don't know if i want to put this right on my skin or put this over my leggings last time i did over my leggings i think i'm just gonna do my skin this time let's raise this up because girl these two trips i got coming up your world got to look good okay period you guys can't even see there you go and then i'm going to pull my leggings up over this Alright, I do need to buy me some more leggings too, either from Shein or something, because I want some regular leggings and not the ones that like scrunch up or whatever. Alright, so I just got back home from the gym. Had a really good workout session. I did upper body today. I only did like I did the stairmaster and then I went to I don't know the upper body terminology. So I did stairmaster for about 10 minutes. That's always what I do for a warm-up. 
Um, and then I did facing this way for the bench. I did that with the little machine and then I faced this way and did it this way. <laughs> and then I did uh, some more like just upper body machine stuff. Girl, I don't know the names, but I did like four or five workouts. Um, I don't feel it right now. I feel it a little bit right here. But I'm going to feel it tomorrow because my legs are on fire from my leg day. Not yesterday, but I did leg day the day before yesterday. Um, I don't know if I, I recorded a little bitty clip. I went ahead and went to Target um, to get it. I didn't feel like going to GNC. There's only like three GNCs that's like close to me. And they're really all out of the way. Um, so I decided just to go to Target this one time and get it. Um, would it have been better price-wise to get it from GNC? Probably, but it's okay. I also went to my Amazon hub and got this package literally when i got in my car pull it into the gate like unlocking the gate with the gate clicker oh amazon uh order just got delivered so i got another order up in there but it's the same thing it's just a different variation of what i'm about to show y'all um i also went to chase i paid my rent already so girl and it's only 11 12 like i'll be feeling good in the morning when i get all my stuff done i am super excited like I know I said this before, but waking up early in the morning is definitely that girl. It's just, I'm a night shift worker and you know, I can't really be doing this too much. But since I only work six days in the month of March, I'm definitely going to be utilizing waking up. Like my body, I feel like it's kind of getting used to it again. Um, Cause I don't go back to work until next week, next Thursday, I believe. So I still got a few more days. So like this morning, my body, cause I had to pee, but my body woke me up at like 640. 6.45 and then I just kind of stayed up laying in bed. Uh, um, thank God for my day, prayed a little bit and it was on social media and then just decided to get up and here I am. So, super excited. Um, it's 11 o'clock, I'm about to go ahead and actually cook a real breakfast. Um, I'm gonna do like three pieces of bacon, two ounces of that smoked sausage, probably two pieces of toast and then I'm gonna make my little smoothie. They did say the serving size on this one since it is so at Target. They don't fill it all the way up and I can kind of feel that it's not filled all the way up. So next time I will be buying it from GNC. It's just convenience. Like it's at Target, Target up the street. I love Target, you know. So that's why I went ahead and got it. But I love the ghost like brand, like logo and stuff like that. Like it's so cute. And obviously I got Chip Ahoy because this flavor is really good, honestly. If I can get it open, there we go. Yeah, so they definitely be cheating you <laughs> on the product because I do like how they got the little spoon right here, so you don't gotta like dig around for it in there. But Jesus, um, yeah, it's filled up halfway, it's about right here. <laughs> $30, but you know, whatever. And then they put this in here. Go Lifestyle, Peak Upgrade, Peanut Monster, Visit. What is this? Be Rewarded, Be Seen. It's probably, I don't know. Anyways, it smells amazing. I love this, so cannot wait to. I'm not gonna make it until after my food is done because I made it before and I kinda wanna drink it while I'm eating. So I think I drank it before i started eating last time like the other day i was telling y'all about it and it kind of made me feel full before i got done with my meal so i kind of want to you know start that a little bit after but anyways what i got from amazon i am going to be finishing my bedroom transformation i think i told y'all about that um so these are just compass grass to be able to do what i'm trying to do in the video instruction care please remove carefully from the box keep dry do not worry about shedding it's normal da, 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 yeah yeah so i think i got the it's supposed to be a hundred of these and these are really really tiny so yeah look how first off that's one stick look how skinny that is so i ordered a hundred of these um i knew they were going to be this short i'm using it for my neon sign if you can kind of see where i'm going with this so the colors are this cute, just brown, white, nudes, absolutely love. Um, Y'all know that's what I'm trying to do in my living room, obviously. So I'm thinking about the other ones that just got delivered today. They are a lot taller than this. I think they're like nine or 10 inches tall. So I'm going to see how tall they are um, and to see if I, I don't know, we'll just get into it when I get all of the stuff to transform my room. That'd be like a separate either 
weekly vlog or that'll just be a separate vlog but I got some pompous grass and these feel really really nice so super excited I'm gonna keep these in this box until like I said I'm ready to actually do that room up it should be it depends so basically if this company this company wants me to collab with them and I sent them over my rate you know companies they like to try to send you free stuff in exchange for a video yeah no um starting out that's definitely good to do but now that i'm 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 a well established you know youtuber right now so i do have a price so basically i sent them over my rate for a dedicated video and like a um little three to five minute like segment type of video and then i was like if you because they'd be like oh sweet or dear that's not in budget or something like that so i add it before they can even shoot me back with a rebuttal if it's not in your outside budget that's what that's what they like to say i don't we don't have any outside budget just enough to give you a free gift so if it's outside your outside budget then we can come to a um agreement you know that may work for both of us so hopefully i get this because i really I really don't want it but then I really do want it because <laughs> I just bought something in there and this one is like new and improved but I mean this one will be a lot better than the one that I already have so you'll see when if it does happen or whatever but yeah I have some plans for that room and it's going to be really really nice I cannot wait to finish it and really just be at peace in there so I'm about to like I said make my breakfast um clean up a little bit my apartment's clean i just still need to do laundry girl i need to do laundry i still have not finished folding all my clothes like <sighs> we just we just gonna talk about it a little later hey y'all i look crazy but i'm just gonna end up uh, end up this vlog here it's actually sunday so i'm starting a new vlog but i literally was just bagging my prints with the farmer's dog and saying that like he has not thrown up or anything like that or like has not been sick um it's been about a month since we've been on it i think and he just threw up a little bit today outside and it wasn't nothing bad it was just like a little yellow but this is usually what i use for him whenever he gets sick either if it's diarrhea or not diarrhea this definitely always knocks it out so i'm trying to look on petco to see if they have it but they don't they don't they carry everything else in this brand but the diarrhea control now I'm looking at petco because i have a petco gift card so i want to use that gift card so now i'm trying to find another like diarrhea control type thing but it's like i know this brand work like this is my favorite brand for that and yes he's still got a lot left but it expired so i don't want to give him this i need a new one um this expired last september so yeah but i just want to say thank you guys for watching and tuning in i'm going to try to find me something for prints don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe and i will see y'all my next one i'm about to start a new one right now so bye y'all